Hello and welcome back to Classic Beauty Over 60. This is Denise and I am going to be getting ready for bed. I am using, yep, you got it, plain old coconut oil. Uh, I've used lots of balms and um, I don't see any issue with this. I believe that if you have a lot of ingredients in your balm, hyaluronic acids and things like that, you're just going to rinse them off. So there's no point in getting any extra stuff. This is fairly inexpensive. It has never clogged my pores. Um, so yeah, this is one that I like and I've been using for years and it's never done anything wrong to my skin. Um, so I'm going to also show a little bit of derma rolling in this as well. It's kind of an abbreviated derma roll because uh, I'm just doing it for the night. Now I like to double cleanse. So I've got that oil on my face. It's melted off what little makeup I did have on today. And now I'm going to just put on my Neutrogena uh, facial wash and rinse that off. I use a towel to Get that wet, rinse that off. And it's just better to do a double rinse, a double wash, because what the one doesn't get off, you first of all, you have to get that oil off your skin. And the balm is such a nice way to go because it doesn't pull at your skin, it just gently uh, melts away the makeup. So you're not tugging on your skin or anything like that. Um, I say balm, but you know, it's just cooking it off. All right, so here goes the double cleanse. Now I'm going to put more of the Neutrogena soap on, and then I'm going to use a um, circulating brush. Any one will do. I think I got this one at Kohl's year, years ago. I'm sure there's way better ones out there. Matter of fact, I know there is. Um, there's a really neat one by Foreo that uh, is an interesting little product, but. I just wanted to uh, get in here. It does such a much better cleaning of your face with these bristles can get into um, all the nooks and crannies. And because of my acne as a young kid, I've uh, got a lot of nooks and crannies and a few wrinkles. So this gets into it so much better than just using your hands or a towel alone can do for sure. <laughs> all right. And so I like... Um, it's the Hydro Boost Hydrating Cleansing Gel by Neutrogena. Uh, I, I like that and I've been using that for years. It doesn't irritate my skin and it doesn't dry it out either. So we're just going to go on to the next step. I've got my face all nice and clean. So next would be um, my derma rolling. So uh, I will list the depth of, of roller that you would need for different parts of your body. I encourage you to go look this up because it is amazing what this has done. It can regrow hair, take away stretch marks, obviously acne, um, scarring, all, all kinds of things. Also I'll show some before and after pictures. I like Jen Amber. She's out of, I believe, is it Switzerland or Germany, somewhere over there. And her, uh, her needles in this uh, roller are surgical grade and she's also got some really good products and some really good information. You want to go up and down, you want to lift uh, each time because you lift that blade, the ball off of your face each time because you don't want to drag it, you'll scratch your skin up. And also the holes that the little needles are making um, will just go right back down to the same hole. So you don't want to do that, you want a different hole. And what this is doing, is it's stimulating your skin so the collagen will rise to the top. It's also um, giving some much needed oxygen in there to those pores. And then when you are ready to receive your serums and your creams and all that good stuff, uh, your skin is so much more easily able to adapt to that because it just receives it so much better with these little tiny minuscule holes. Um, the pressure, you want to remain just a hair under what you would use for shaving your legs. You don't want to be too rough with it. My skin is pretty light naturally, so it gets pretty red when I do this. Uh, I won't lie to you, it's a bit uncomfortable uh, underneath your nose. Um, 
uh, especially at least for me on my neck and under my chin. Um, you don't ever roll your eyelids. Uh, this should go without saying, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Don't roll your tongue. Don't roll anything in your private areas. Um, that that's not gonna work. And if you actually if you roll your eyelids instead of the eye um, the eyebrow area, you could actually give yourself more sagging. So you don't want to do that. That's what we're trying to avoid. So, uh, yeah, this is, this is, um, 20, 20, uh, rolls on each area. And the reason this is abbreviated is because I'm only really going in one direction. You're supposed to go in all the different directions. You see, I closed my eyes there because it is a little painful on, on the chin. Um, you want to be very gentle at this point because you could really mess yourself up. And whatever you do, do not use vitamin C. Those can call, cause granulomas and uh, those are little bumps in your skin because the vitamin C kind of crystallizes underneath there. So you don't, we don't want to use that. I'll leave a list of what um, different products you can use. Uh, I like the Ordinary Buffet. It's got a bunch of stuff in there. It doesn't irritate one bit and it feels great. Um, I also use the Neutrogena, um, Hydro Boost, uh, what is it? It's the, um, cream. And I use that after, and that doesn't affect me in any way either. You just want to be gentle, you know, when you're going in areas that are soft and, and, um, and tender, uh, just take your time with it and go you know, go as as big as strips as you can. Um, what you will find in the morning is you will wake up and your face will be so soft because during the night, those products seeped in even deeper than they ever would have normally. And the collagen is now floating up towards the surface and it just makes your skin so soft. It's unbelievable. I can't even explain how how nice it feels once you're done. But I do this um, about once a week. I will admit I've been a little bit slack. This uh, YouTube channel is going to get me out of that habit real quick. I'll <laughs> have to be taking a little bit better care of myself if I'm going to tell you all how to do it, right? Well, I, um, I think I've probably been doing this for about six years. And um, it, it, it alone... Uh, did really great things for my skin. I had, like I said, really big texture skin, you know, lots of um, pits and scarring. And um, it actually retexturized my skin. Uh, it's not as good as it, as it could be because, like I said, I, I slowed down on it. But you'll see that um, we'll keep up with this and I'll do before and afters and you can, you'll be able to see the difference. Um, this is an amazing thing to do for, uh, stretch marks as well. I haven't, uh, tried that, but I have a video I can link for you guys. It's pretty amazing. Uh, a lady had, um, a difficult pregnancy and she had some really, really bad, um, stretch marks on her poor little tummy. And, um, yeah. She looks like almost 100% back to normal. It is incredible the difference that this made. So it's just a little bit of pain. You do get used to it. Um, and, it's, and it's over in your face. Oh, another thing. You're probably not going to want to go out in the sun right after this. If you do, make sure that at least it's a day later where you can put on some sunscreen or wear a big hat. You also don't want to go in a jacuzzi. Anything that you're going to sweat is gonna get into those uh, pores and sting like salt because your sweat has salt in it and those are open uh, pores now. So that will sting the, if you do it the first uh, few moments after you get out of the 
um, out of the bathroom and if you go into a jacuzzi, you, you will sting. <laughs> I, I learned that the hard way. All right, we'll just let this roll until we get to the next part. I'm almost done here. Just rolling the neck. This hurts. Look at how red my neck's getting. This hurts a little bit. But, you know, us women, we're tough and we can handle it. Especially with a, you know, huge payoff. The one thing I do uh, almost all the time before I go out is I will roll my lips. And I'll tell you, it makes a big difference as you age um, the area between the, your nose and your upper lip gets longer and it, and, and it makes your lip look thinner because it's curling in on itself on the lower lip. So as our lips thin out as we get older, rolling them really helps get you that bee stung look and that's what I do right before I go out. I'll um, roll my lips about 20, 25 times each lip, um, just one way, and then I'll put on some well, I like to put on like buxom um, or some sort of lip plumping. Uh, now, you might want to be careful with that. I've got a little bit tougher skin, so um, that might be too much for you. But that's what I like to do to get that extra little plump. And it sure does work, and uh, it looks great. And uh, I'm keeping the structure of my lips instead of losing them as I age. I uh, want to keep those lips. <laughs> All right, we're done rolling. Now I'm going to put on my Hero Neck Cream. That'll sink in really nicely since I've just rolled there. And here is the Ordinary Buffet. This is really inexpensive. I, I'll i have to look it up, but it's not even $20 and it lasts for months and months. It's purple. And um, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't sting. It's got all kinds of great ingredients in there. And it's called the Buffet. And uh, it's just like food for your skin. That's what it is. That's why they call it buffet. Got a little bit of everything in there. And my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. I love this stuff. It feels like, um, like you're drinking water in your skin. It's just a nice feeling of quenched because it's so kind of wet. Once you put it on there, it's really nice especially feels good after rolling my face and my face is kind of hot and red irritated it's nice all right well that's what i do 